anyway, welcome again to All Things Gumball. I am going to the bank to drop off my quarters. Yesterday, I probably grossed about $500, which is a good day. Uh, it took me about eight hours. The temperature in the car is about uh, 105 right now. But if I add a little sunlight to the top of my head. So anyway, I've been thinking about uh, a couple of things. Uh, I know this doesn't really relate to being a uh, being a, a gumball seller or a vending machine operator. Um, I just wanted to let you know a little bit more about myself. Uh, I grew up in Wisconsin and uh, moved to Dallas when I was 18. Dallas, Texas, big D. Uh, I don't know about where you guys live, but in Texas, everyone is proud of Texas. Everyone loves Texas. You see Texas flags and Texas uh, rings and necklaces and everything. So people love Texas. People are very proud of Texas. And uh, for the most part, I like Texas. And, and for the most part, I'm a pretty positive person. Uh, the only thing that's kind of hard is just the heat. The heat. I can deal with the traffic for the most part. Um, but I just wanted to share with you uh, a little bit about what's going on in my life. I'm kind of been uh, dabbling a little bit with uh, uh, my diet. Of course, I'm 54 years old. I'm an old man, and I feel young. And you know, I don't feel too old. I don't feel like I'm in my. Uh, I don't feel like I'm. You know, as I say, I don't feel like. What, what, what's the saying? Some people say, I feel like I'm one foot in the grave. I don't feel like I'm anywhere near the grave. I, I love life. I'm, I'm, I love life. But um, recently, I've been thinking about changing my diet, and I want to be a vegetarian. I want to think about, I want to work in the work on becoming a little bit more of a vegetarian. And I think part of what, what caught my attention was I was reading a book on uh, the vegetarian diet, and uh, what it was saying, a couple of things that it was saying was, um, if you had two farmers and both farmers had the same amount of land and the same amount of water and sunshine, and one farmer, <clears throat> one farmer was feeding animal or feeding people. How do I say that? One farmer was growing cattle or pigs or whatever to feed people, and one farmer was raising crops to feed people. The farmer that has crops, he can feed about 20 times the amount of people that a farmer that has animals can feed. Does that make sense? So if a farmer who has animals feeds only one person, a farmer with the same amount of land who's raising crops for people can feed 20 people, which is pretty impressive. So there's other reasons why, but I just wanted to let, let you know a little bit about where I'm coming from and where I'm going and uh, what I want to do with my life. Uh, my, my daughter's a vegetarian, and she kind of got me interested in this subject. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the vending business as well. Um, people ask me every now and then, do I have business cards, do I have flyers? And I used to. When I first started this business, I did what a lot of people do. They, they think about business cards, they think about flyers. <clears throat> And uh, I went out and got some uh, expensive business cards, expensive flyers. And every time I'd go out knocking on doors, if people didn't really have a yes answer or a no answer, they would say, can you leave me something that I can give to my boss? And I would be happy to give them information, you know, a flyer or a business card. But it turns out, out of all the 1,000 business cards and flyers that I got printed up, I only got one phone call. One. One phone call. So there's a lot of money involved. <clears throat> At this point, if somebody asks me, do I have a business card or a flyer, uh, I tell them yes, but I didn't bring it with me. I left it in my other vehicle, and then my daughter's borrowing my car. Uh, they won't call you, trust me. And if you do find it works, let me know because I don't I don't find that it works. So don't waste your money on business cards. Don't waste your money on uh, flyers. I told you the other day in, in another video that uh, there's three answers when you ask for a location. Yes, no, and maybe. Actually, there's 
two answers. Yes, which is perfect and great, and every other answer is a no. Uh, and I don't even care if the, if the person who's working there says, I'm the owner's son. I say yes, but let me talk to my dad and make sure it's okay with him. That's still a no. Until you hear the word yes, consider every answer to be the answer no. I hope that helps you in your vending business. Uh, I'm coming near my destination and I want to turn off the camera and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Please subscribe and all that other stuff. Please hang up and try again.